Welcome to another tutorial of programming in uh, Microsoft Word. Um, right in front of you is uh, various uh, arithmetic operator functions used in the programming of the following. Okay, let me start by clicking on that. When I click on sum up, what you see is the system is so sensitive. It lets you know that uh, you're missing out one or two things. Okay, now you get a cursor right there. Let's enter some data in there. Okay, if you notice I've not checked any of these. Let's give that a try. And you've been informed to please select an operator. I've selected an operator. Click. And that is the answer. Supposing I want to add up. That is correct. Multiply or division. I can also reset. Start all over. Check one of those check this out it gave me that answer but guess what it's not telling me there's nothing in there so let's reset now what I would do is take you guys straight into the system and show you how I've managed to put this together so I'm gonna just click on exit and we go into Microsoft Word document okay welcome back right in front of you is a plain Word document so it's either you click on developer right up there and select the visual basic or you can always press alt f11 okay guys now i'm starting a new project just to show you how the arithmetic operator was developed i have a new form there the first thing i've done is just to increase the height and i've also increased the width you can see the width is 750 and the height is approximately 550 so let me just make that 550 so the next thing I'll do now is uh, to change the color the back color I might as well just change that to maybe something black and uh, the font let's change the font color to something white okay that's the font color there let's change the the font size to let's make that 20 there okay that's good so the next thing I'll do is just to select the following label and uh, select label and just uh, paste all of that in there so now I have all of the following so you guys can see I have my heading right there I have a frame label text box label text box label and I also have my buttons right there okay let's start with the coding now the first line of code that i'm going to enter here is end done that is out of the way so the second line of code if you take a look, good look at this that is my first option box right there let's get the property out so that you see that in the property you can see it's called option one two three four okay so I will now double click on my command button right there so I'll say if option option button button one then carry out the following then carry out the following label label four dot caption dot caption equals make that plus now the next thing is going to be label 5 the caption so that we enter the calculation there label 5 the caption right there equals by value text box text box one dot text okay we add that and we add that to text box two dot text there so change these to two done okay now we have that in place the next thing I will do now is to use else if else if option two if that is selected change that to minus change these to minus or you can call it subtract okay let's indent Let's put a space in there so that you guys can see that and then this as well okay now we're getting somewhere 
and the next thing is just I'm gonna copy this copy come in here paste else if option 3 change this to multiplication and this to multiplication else if option 4 change this to division and this to the division okay so that's all of the operators ready now in this case I will then use an if statement to get this sorted else if text box one dot text equals none and instead of using all I'm gonna use and and text box two dot text equals that I will put this let me put them in a bracket or not not option one not option one or not option two that's a two right there space press enter let me move this so that you guys can see the codes there copy or not option three not option four then what shall we do let's enter a message box message box enter value in both text box and select an operator and we then say VB information give me VB information icon right there then I'll then say text box text box one dot text sorry dot set focus all right then let's get rid of uh, whatever content is inside label four get rid of that and the same thing applies to label five get rid of that as well get rid of whatever content is inside label five and just enter and if and if and that's that for the whole calculation and so on the next thing is uh, I now need to get my reset button right there that is the reset button right there so let's get that sorted for the reset button we enter option one option button one dot enable make that force force so I'm just gonna copy that and change the names change the numbers all right so two three and four then copy this because it's just a reset copy paste guess you guys can see that now so that is that sorted as well and let's get the focus to the text box and in the focus on here and uh, let's change this to two two one in that case this will form dot the text equals and we'll repeat exactly the same thing for the second one there okay so we have all the system ready so the next thing is each of them I'll like them to enable let's say the text box is clicked where is the text box text box right there 
as the text box right there if the text box is enabled make that true the text box will reactivate or we re-enable the the option box and that is it so let's run the program and see what we've done so far so I'm gonna run the program right now run there it's look, it looks beautiful so let's uh, I think I need to move some of the component a, bit, a little bit up so let's get rid of that Okay, select all of the components, select it all and move it right up. There. I think that should do it. So that you guys can see it. Alright, we'll run the program again. Okay, there we go guys. I suppose you can all see it now. If I I'm gonna purposely I will not select anything there. Look at that. Okay, the message box pops up advising you to select an option so I would enter some value in there and I would not select anything here and the same thing asking you to select an operator so an operator is selected look at that subtract that is correct multiplication correct division and that is correct well in the case of division there's an error so let's find out what happened with that of division so let's go back into the system right here in the case of division I still have my option box as two remember I copied and paste so let me change that good that is correct so you might as well just have a good look at the codes now so I have one two three four right there so scroll right down you see the rest of the codes good so let's go back run the program again now I enter whatever value in there division good working as expected multiplication that is correct subtraction and addition so guys that's how you develop um, an arithmetic operator using Microsoft Word so I'm going to call this the end of the program so you guys have a nice day.